I love talking about black popular culture as a portal through which black representation has had to move through when we have been silenced and when we have been oppressed. And so popular culture became this device through which we could exercise our identity when it is constantly being suppressed and oppressed in like actual real life. So that's why like when we talk about characters like black, like Dark Skin Up Viv and, and uh, Claire Huxtable, like those are real people for us. Like for black people, like those are, those characters have value in a similar way as like actual human beings like Fannie Lou Hamer and Diane Nash. So I really love talking about like my vast knowledge of black popular culture within a context that is greater than just like, oh, I like that show. Because I think that it really does hold a greater context. That's a great question. Thank you. You know what's also great questions? The questions we're about to answer next in our SEAL Squad only section of questions. Yes, we're about to go to our bonus questions section. So shout out to everybody who is a subscriber on Patreon. Just so you know, we got much more coming at you. Much more coming at you with this Patreon. So y'all better stay tuned. All right, let's get into it. That That one time. time. So in our bonus section, one of the questions was like, how do blurs find each other in the wild? And, you know, the thing about that is that I said, well, I'm not going to tell you the full answer because y'all got to go look at that section. But for this one time, I want to talk about how being a blurred helped me to like connect with somebody that I just didn't even think I was going to connect with. And I was in Mexico um, on vacation and I was... On like this like excursion and it was just me and the tour guide. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was being a little bratty because I was very annoyed at how cold it was, but we were like doing like water things. And so it was like, I don't wanna go in there, it's cold. And I could tell that he was like low key annoyed, but he kept it. I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell y'all, he kept it together, he kept it together. So like halfway through the trip though, we ended up having lunch and over lunch, I'm not even sure how this came up, but we started talking about Avatar The Last Airbender. And I am a blurred about Avatar. And so was he. He's a he's a blurred. He's Mexican. He's a blurred about <laughs> Avatar. And so like this person who I feel like, I don't think he had like beef with me or anything, but like we just didn't have any like any real connectivity. Like this got us over a hump where we were able to like genuinely like see each other outside of just like you're the tour guide and I'm the tourist and really connect and talk about how terrible the first Avatar movie was and how excited we are about the next one. And we got to talk about the difference between, you know, uh, Korra and Aang and those series. And we both agreed that the first series is superior because it's more nature-based versus like the Korra um, series is more like city based and I'm just like not, not interested in that but he did put me on for anyone who's listening to the fact that in the Korra series we get to actually learn about the first airbender which I did not know about I couldn't get through Korra y'all I couldn't get through it I couldn't get through it but I really was um was really just like in hindsight laughing to myself about how here we are in like a jungle like in the middle of Playa del Carmen And we're connecting, not about like the nature, not about the cenotes. No, we're connecting, connecting about do we, do we really think Katara was annoying? (laughs) Shout out to all my nerds and all my blurds that are listening. And so that was just a cool moment of blurdom where my blurdiness got me not just to even connect to other black people, but to connect to somebody from a whole other culture. And we ended up changing the whole energy for the rest of the day. Rest of the day, whole energy. So, you know, this blurredness, this blurred life, is something I have leaned all the way into. And I feel like it gave me a whole other dimension that made other people even connect to me more and that, like, made me, like, see myself more. Identity is one of those things that, as Ntozaki Shange calls it, is a psychic sense of place. It's a way of knowing, like, you're not a rock, you're not a tree, you're just this thing over here. And you have to basically define what that is. And you don't realize how often your identity is determined by things that you don't like, 
right? Your your identity is so often determined by your traumas. So like blurredom is this thing where it's almost as if you're getting to determine your identity based on the things you love, which feels like so much more empowering, so much more positive than it being based on you like getting through things, which is a valid part of who you are. But damn, how beautiful is it to get to love yourself based on the things that you love? And immersing yourself in that and feeling so proud about how much you know about it. That's why like when we talk about relationships, like I want my partner to be a blurred about me. Like that to me is something that I don't think we understand. Like nerddom is not about, you know, being an outcast or a oddball. It's literally just about what you find interesting and how much energy you are putting into it in a way that makes you an expert on it. And you never, you never tire of getting more of it. You're like never satiated. I have genuinely like started questioning my Game of Thrones nerddom because I really wasn't feeling like this like last series. But then I remembered that like, it's really about the books. <laughs> and I read all the books. <laughs> but I just feel like, the nerdum about your partner is such a beautiful thing. And that's how I am as a as a as a partner. Like I'm a nerd about you. I want to know what candy you like. I want to know, you know, what time you go to bed. Like I want to understand, you know, the 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 ways in which you tick. Like I want to know everything about you the same way I want to know everything about Hogwarts. You know, I want to be able to take a tour through your existence the same way that I hope one day I can take a tour through the Shire in New Zealand. Like, so this is where Frodo lived. Frodo Baggins. And um, that's, you know, that's what it is. Like, that's that's the blurredness. It's not just about math. It's not just about sci-fi or or you know, comics. It's, it's really just about your, your, your expansion of self and your interests being a thing that makes you feel more full and makes this world and this life more fulfilling. So in the beginning, I said, I don't know what it is about Star Wars that made me connect to it. But I, when I think about it, I know what it is. Star Wars is the story of revolution. It literally is a story about revolution. It is a story of people coming together and using not only their powers as a community, but literally the powers of energy, AKA the force, to dismantle an empire that has been formed to solely just exert power over people for no other reason than to hold power. And all of them are actually people that are bereft of joy. And so they, have become an empire of narcissists in order to fulfill something that's been missing from them. We're living in that right now. We're literally living in it right now. And we're watching it. And some of us may not know what we're watching, but I knew what I was watching. And I think I knew what I, I think I started to be able to see what I was watching because I've seen it already in these other forms. <laughs> and I hope that, you know what? We figure out where our Andor is and we get our rebel army together because we've got to fight, all of us. And we're going to need the, the blurs that know calculus because we've got to do some calculations. Are you enjoying this episode? Well, all my blurs, I need you to boop, head on over to Patreon and get the rest of it. Aloha, Mora. That's me opening Patreon for y'all.